Welcome back to the 2D game. So this update, I want to add in some more like GY stuff, more levels, and the usual. A few people have told me to add in like a, a death screen. So first I want to add in a screen GY, add in a frame, then in the frame, add in a text label, change position, burr, 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 change color to red. And then to get it to work, we of course need a script. So first of all, let's delete this print. Then we can make a variable for the player. Equals to game.plays.localPlayer. Now if we make a variable for the messages, what should the first message be? You suck! So now if we uh, do humanoid.died, so uh, when we die then it runs the code, and boom! That should be the script complete. So if we click play, okay so if we go down here, and then jump in lava, oh, better luck next time! Okay so after that, I'm gonna duplicate the GUI, rename it to stage GUI, so basically every um, world you beat, for example this desert, once you beat it, then you'll get some diamonds and become rich. And I'm also going to paste it in this um, confetti creator. You'll see what it does in a bit. So first of all, let's delete this print. Boom. Then make a variable. So local create confetti. Then local stage. Oh wait, I forgot to add in a remote event. There we go. Stage event. Okay, so once we've done that, if we do stage event dot on client event, connect function, blah, 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 message. Then we can change the text label later. Okay, this should work. Basically, uh, once a remote event has been fired, it'll set all the text and stuff. It'll create confetti, it'll tween, blah, blah, blah. You'll see. And because I can cheat, I'm going to go to the uh, stage value, change this to uh, five. And then up here, there should be a checkpoint. And boom, look at that. And there we go. But if I cheat again, change it to 12, go and reset. <laughs> so once again, if we touch a checkpoint, we've got five more diamonds and there we go. Okay, so next, I want to get rid of this flag, move it over. And that's because we're going to be building a space map. So basically, we're going to have this, like, rocket that takes you to space, and it will change, like, the skybox, the gravity, and stuff like that. And to build a rocket, I need to go into Blender. So, um, first let's delete all this stuff. So if we take the cylinder and make it big, maybe a bit taller, add in a few loop cuts, shade smooth, and, uh... BOOM! I finally built the spaceship. I think it's looking pretty good. That is huge, oh my god. We need to shrink that down a little bit and drag it over. Now it's tiny, what? Oh my god. Boom, there we go. But to get it to work, we need to build a space map. So I'm going to duplicate this floor, drag it over. Then I'm going to copy paste the, the rocket, then drag it over to a platform. And now that we have this little platform, we can actually script the, the rocket. So if we click it, go to the trigger, add in a script. So in the script, if we make a variable for the space event, then if we make a variable for the table, just so we can check if like the player's already triggered for the spaceship. Then we're going to fire the space event to the player, fire client. Then we're going to set the humanoid root part C frame to game.workspace.checkpoints. And then I think it's 26.c frame. And then finally we can we can remove player from the table equals to nil. And boom! Okay, so if we go up to a spaceship, then we teleport. And we're now in space. And if we jump, and whoa! We have low gravity, so we can like jump super high. Whoa! Boing! Boing! Okay, so if we go on the map, whoop! For the first stage, we have boom! Meteor rock things. So to actually make the, the rocks, we need to go back into Blender. Let's delete that. And if we add in a, uh, what would be a good rock? Maybe an icosphere? Make it a bit bigger. How about if we use the um, randomized tool? How would that look? There we go. Look at that. If you shade smooth, there we go. That's actually pretty decent. That'll do. Okay, so now we need to position it. Maybe scale it down a bit. I think we just need to like put it in like a random position. Boom, there we go. How's this? Let's give it a try. Right, let's see if they work. So if you touch it, and ah, so it works. And now if you jump over, if we can make it. Ugh! Oh, just about. Can we do this next one? Oh, yes, we can. Last one. Go. Yes, we did it! I hope the second one is easy enough, because I know a lot of people say the game is too hard. <laughs> oh well, it should be okay. So after that, on the map, we have some planets. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I think we're supposed to be like moving up and down, maybe? Just so it makes it a bit harder to like jump between them. And to actually make the planets, I'm going to go to the toolbox, type in planet. See what comes up. Ooh! What, what's this? Oh my god! It's a, it's a skybox! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! 
How about if you just delete that for now? What about if you just take this like Earth? Oh wow, that's realistic. I don't know if it'll match the, um, the, the rest of the game, but it looks pretty cool. There we go. That should be it for this stage. So let's give it a try. Okay, so if we go over here and boom, there it is. Also, it moves, which I just stole from an old script. So if we jump, yes, we did it. We need to get onto the next one. Uh, there we go. Uh, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, we did it. It's a bit hard to see where like I'm trying to land though. Hopefully that'll be okay though. So next up we have boom meteors. So you better watch out. It should actually be kind of easy to make because all we have to do is copy one of these, drag it over, come over here, go in here, copy the script, paste it in, and there we go. Anyway, let's try it out. Right, when do we go? Go! Yes! Okay, next one. Go! We did it! Right. Go, go, go. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we need to be careful. And go. Yes, we did it. Okay, so after that, I've actually built it up a little bit just so it isn't all flat and looks the same because that'll be boring. Okay, so on the map, we have boom, UFOs. And how am I going to build a UFO? I have no idea. First, I should probably add in a cylinder, make it a bit bigger, shrink it a little bit. And then maybe if we give it a bevel, this looks awful. <laughs> what is this? It looks like an egg. There we go. That's more like it. So if we go to studio, so it's all coloured in and looking pretty good. Okay, so I just duplicated it a few times and changed the colour of the beam, just so they're not all the same. Okay, so I dodged a green one. There we go. The blue one. Easy. Yellow. Oh, just about. Final one. Uh, why did I go then? I'm so dumb. But after UFOs, we have... Boom! Um, this looks a bit weird, but you're gonna be able to jump on the arms and then you have to wait until the head comes up and jump on it, wait for the arms to come up and jump on it and make it across. Okay, so first, what shall we do? Um, what if first we go over to this, like, this chocolate? And then we can change the colour to, like, purple or something. Okay, there we go. I think I'm just gonna go to the toolbox. Oh my god! What has happened here? Oh my god! That's morbid! Boom! That's way better than before. And I copy pasted it. Okay, here we go. Quick, we need to jump on. Oh, quick! Oh my god, that's so close. Oh, quick! Jump on the arm. We did it! Yes! So next up, we have... We have these, like, little crater things with smoke. That'll kill you. So, once again, we need to go to Blender. Delete the UFO. And then all we need to do is, like, add in a loop cut. Select the bottom, make it big. Select the next one up, make it big. And then drag it down a little bit. Uh, what is this? It looks like a volcano. You, you get the idea though. Right, to make smoke, if we go to course the toolbox, type in smoke. And, um, which one looks good? What's this? You just drag it in. There we go. And boom! There we go. And then to script it. So basically, to get it to work, we enable the smoke and the kill part. But after a few seconds, it disables them and then enables them again. Okay, so here we go. So if smoke comes up, and boom, we can jump through. Then wait for it to go. Come on, come on. There we go. We did it. Yeah. Okay, for the final stage, we have whoop, spinning stars. So to make the stars, we of course need to go into Blender. Just kidding. I'm going to go to the toolbox. Type in star. Stick it in place. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so over here, then we can jump on it. And oh, quick, we need to jump to the next one. Oh, there we go. Try not to fall off. And go. Oh, ah! Oh, that was close. And go. Yes, we did it. Okay, and I think that's the update complete. If you want to play the game for yourself, then the link is in the description down below. Also, make sure to check out this video because it's cool. You can also check out my Roblox group and Discord server in the description. And I'll see you later. Bye.